Hi folks, welcome to the Reef Dreamer. I've made this little video to introduce you to the Reef Dreamer and show you some of the things that you want to know to be a successful liveaboard boater. First thing is getting on the boat. Take a nice big step. See those black dots? That's your mark. See those shoes? That's because I was here earlier and took them off. We don't wear shoes on boats. All right, it's kind of a boating tradition, I guess. The door is not locked now, but it will be when you get here. And the combination is 7811. There's also a porch light up here that should be on when you get here. If not, just keep it like that. And here we are. First thing on that you need to do is fill out some paperwork for the marina. That's my dog. She always helps me. Come on down, sweet pea. Okay. Back to the paperwork. I'll show you. It's in this binder. And this binder is a great resource for you. It's got every it's got lots of information in here. First of all, here's the paperwork for you to fill out. I've, I've filled out um, the part with your name and all that stuff, and then you will fill out this part, initial here, and also on the back. Um, you need to also, uh, first thing in the morning, after nine o'clock, walk this down to the um, main office and turn this in because this is what gets you the shuttle and the pool and all the great amenities that we have here. Let me go over a few of these little things with you. There's lots of coupons and good things in here. Hogfish is the best seafood restaurant on the island. That's where you want to eat and it's really, really close. Eco Discovery Center, that's free and it is fabulous. Here's a, this is a card for the laundromat. I know you don't think you're going to do laundry, but you might. Um, this is a pool pass that's never ever been used. Um, really all you have to do is just walk over to the pool, let yourself in, and have a good time. You're in uh, slip C5 if anybody asks. This is what I sent you um, by mail before you got here. Here's some information about wearing shoes. And here's a map. This shows you all of, um, all of Stock Island on one side and the marina on the other side. And I just want to show you where you are. This is where you came in. This is the gate. And you are right here um, in C5. The nearest bathhouse is right here. There's a handicapped bathroom right here that um, you can get to. It's got it's a private bathroom with a great big shower. We kind of call it the couple shower too. Um, this one is an entire building of nothing but bathrooms, showers, and um, this one is the ship store. Here's, I'm sorry, I pointed the wrong one. This is the first one you come to. This is the entire building, and this is the ship store where you can get beer, wine, ice, all the essentials. Um, here's a menu for hogfish. It's such a good place to eat. You're going to love it. This is a menu for El Cibonet, also really close and a fabulous family restaurant. Uh, El Mocho, another good uh, family restaurant. Of course, there's the Salty Oyster. Um, great cocktail hour. Happy hour is super. Um, they've got really good food there as well. China Garden, also a good place they'll deliver. Seagrass will deliver. I'll let you look through all of these. You don't need to rent bikes because we have bikes here for you. Um, Publix will deliver, so will Win Dixie. We got yoga here at the hotel. You just have to call and make a reservation. Here's some more brochures and things that you might want to look through. And there's a whole bunch of maps in here. And here's the most important thing. This is your parking pass. This has to go on your dashboard before you go to bed tonight. If Jim, our security guard, passes by and this is not on your dashboard, 
he will tow your car. I promise you, it's happened before. You wouldn't be the first. All right, on to better things. Uh, let me show you how to adjust the air conditioner. That's pretty simple. There's, um, this is twice for on, twice for off. Of course, the temperature up and down. Uh, quick tutorial on lighting the stove. It's very, very simple. Um, it lights just like a barbecue grill. I may have a little trouble demonstrating because I'm doing it one-handed. But basically what you do is you push, boy that's a lot of dust, you push down here and turn it and then at the same time you light it with this. We don't have any um, pilot lights on boats. Then, after you light it, you have to hold it for a good long time, at least 30 seconds before the valve in there um, is wide enough open to, to keep it running for you. Here's your coffee supplies, um, good coffee filters, here's your coffee pot. We got some games and things here for your enjoyment. And here we are at the bathroom. This is the part that makes everybody nervous. Because when you write down the instructions for flushing the toilet, it sounds so complicated. It's really not complicated at all. All right, here's what you do. Do what you're gonna do. Then pump till it's empty. Usually about five pumps for number one. Then you flip this little switch. Let me let you see me do that over this way. See this? This shows filling the bowl. This shows empty the bowl. This shows filling the bowl. So we're going to push it over here. And you say, why do I want to fill the bowl? Well, what you want to do is you want to bring in some water from the outside to rinse out the bowl. And it's going to push the urine all the way down into the holding tank, which is somewhere around here. You got plenty of towels. You got everything you need here. There's lots of soaps and shampoos and stuff in here. Just make yourself at home. Everything that is here is here for you. Lots and lots of towels for you, but if that's not enough, there's more in this little closet that's just right across the bath, the way from the bathroom. Here's your bed. This is the best part of the whole boat. It is so nice in here. This is such a good bed. You won't even want to get out of it in the morning. Um, here's your chargers right here. The ones on this side are all for, um, um, oh, I can't think of the name for it, but the other ones are for iPhones, so you know what the opposite is. This is an air freshener, and here's the TV. TV works great. It's uh, Apple TV. When you get ready to, um, to watch TV, you turn on the television with this guy right here and it comes on as soon as it comes on you start pushing this button right push 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 sooner or later it's going to pay attention to me oh i know because i'm not pointing it in the right place you got to point it over here because that's where the receiver is all right so see right here we got menus still pointing at the wrong thing there we go that's where your menus are, YouTube, Apple TV, Netflix, all of that good stuff. We were just listening to YouTube. That's your best source for music. So, there you go. If you have any questions at all about the Reef Dreamer, about anything here, just give me a call or, even better yet, text me on the on the app because it makes a little noise that I can hear and I never miss it. Oh, but wait, I gotta show you the, the best part of the whole thing. Right up here to the port.